Building a car capable of a thousand miles per hour is a huge technical challenge, but it's perhaps just as big a challenge to get it to stop. After Andy Green streaks through the measured mile in 3.6 seconds, he will be left with just five and a half miles in which to come to a standstill. At these speeds, wheel brakes would be useless and parachutes would tear themselves to shreds, so Bloodhound will be relying on powerful air brakes to stop safely. Developing a system that can slow a six and a half ton car by 60 miles per hour every second is just one of the key areas in which Bloodhound and Parker engineers have been working together. So we became involved with Bloodhound uh, from the beginning, perhaps back in 2010, and that primarily came about through uh, an involvement that we'd had in the previous car, Thrust SSC. And um, from our experiences there, we were asked if we would be interested in working with Bloodhound on this new venture. And of course, we were very interested in doing that. The air brakes themselves are a fundamental part of the car's design. So we have two uh, Parker actuators and they're mounted to one of the bulkheads. Uh, these actuators drive a saddle which slides forward and backwards. And there's a, a double linkage mechanism between the saddle and the doors. One drive bar operates the bell crank and then the second drive bar operates from the bell crank directly to the door itself. So we had to take into consideration the loads that Bloodhound feel that the air brake doors will be exerting onto the cylinders and ensure that our product is beefy enough as the muscle behind the doors to, to be able to do the work that they're intended to do. And then as a backup, we have down the bottom here a composite hydraulic accumulator. If there was an, an emergency situation and the hydraulic power was lost, this store of energy here would provide the hydraulic oil to move those cylinders. Accumulators are generally speaking steel items, they are uh, inherently very heavy. The composite accumulators are, are, a, are a big thing for the future and they're a big investment for Parker. Bloodhound in itself is a very complex beast. We're trying to marry a lot of different uh, kind of sectors of engineering in one piece. We've got the aerospace, we've got motorsport. The, the final car is also the prototype, but working with Parker, we've been able to uh, break down the, the kind of larger problems uh, to come up with a final solution uh, that everyone's happy with. It, it's given us the opportunity to bring together a, a number of different technologies into this one application but it's been really exciting because we're, we're working very closely with the engineering team and it's been a, it's been a great opportunity for us um, to be associated with Bloodhound. <laughs>